What's going on guys? It's Pierre Andrews and today I'm going to show you my top five um, compressor plugins for vocals and why I like them so much and what I use them for. I'm going to be using my song uh, Fading Star as uh, an example track. Uh, this isn't the final mix, it's my buddy Matt Sim who mixed it, but um, I'm using this as an example so you can hear um, how these compressors kind of work and why I like them so much. Um, before I start, don't forget to follow me at uh, Instagram, my at Pierre underscore Andrews and uh, go ahead and you know do all this stuff to the video subscribe like it hit the bell all that good stuff so that you can get stay tuned for uh, new videos as I upload them all right let's check out the track first Cause we both say words that we didn't mean did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen we just go round and round man there ain't no end no end you say it's my fault but I blame you you get so fed up and I do too we fight in a battle we both know we can't win my, 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 my. There's nothing left for us to say So let's go, so let's go our separate ways We burn so bright and crash so hard And now we're just a slowly fading A slowly fading star Alright, so uh, again, this is my song called Fading Star featuring Wes Ryder and uh, Brianna Marin, and uh, it's actually on my um, album All or Nothing, which you can uh, stream on Spotify, and I'll put a link to uh, the album and the song in the description below, and um, let's get into it. Number one on the list is Waves R Compressor. I love this thing. It's really versatile. That's what. That's really why it made the list. Um, I'm using it on Wes's vocals, and uh, I'm just gonna solo his vocals and kind of play it for you with and without. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. We. So, um, you know, I'm hitting it quite a bit with like 6 dBs of gain reduction. Um, and uh, the reason I like this one is because you can make it as aggressive as you as possible, but if you want to make it transparent, it can be really transparent. And the other great thing about this compressor is that it has this ARC, excuse me, it has this ARC mode, um, which basically um, is an automatic release function. So you don't have to worry about the release time. You can obviously set it to manual if you want to, but I leave that there. And then your your opto mode, um, opto is a little bit more. It emulates different types of compressors. Opto is a bit more um, smooth, I guess you could say, and round. And electro is a bit more forward and aggressive. So for this song, being more chill, I chose opto. They both sound great. And then so really, all you have to do is adjust, you know, your attack and ratio. And then a warm is basically the coloration. There's warm and smooth. Again, you can just adjust that to taste. So I love this one because it's so uh, it's very easy to use. It's very versatile and it's very transparent. That's why I love it so much. All right. Next on the list, we're using um, on, on my list of top five. The number two is Waves SSL channel. So um, I have it also. I'm also using it on. I'm, using it on Wes's vocals here as a, a separate instances so you can hear it and check it out. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. We Cause we both said words that we didn't mean did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. We Cause we both said words that we didn't mean did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. So as you can tell, it's definitely a lot more forward, a bit more aggressive than uh, the R compressor, and it's really good for rap vocals, which is why I didn't use it, you know, as the final choice in this example, uh, because uh, for this song being more chill, I wanted something a bit less colored and something more smooth, which is why I chose the R compressor. Um, but it's great for it's it's versatile as well. It's just more colored to my ears, and um, you have two. It's really easy to use. You have two attack settings. One is fast attack, and one is not fast attack, and that's kind of it. So you only have two choices. Uh, fast attack will obviously make it more aggressive. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean. Did. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean. Did. And then you just uh, adjust your release here to taste, and then you have a ratio of four. And then obviously you set your threshold, and all in all, I'm getting about 60 bs. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of dirt that Actually ain't coming up on 10 at the most, but six somewhere around six to 10 dbs of gain reduction. 
Um, all right, that's a great one. And the other thing that's great about this one is that at least the Waze version doesn't use a lot of processing power, and it's got built-in you know EQ gate, so it's kind of like a one-stop channel strip, which makes it really easy and versatile. All right, number three on the list is Universal Audio's 1176 Blackface. Um, the reason I like the blackface so much is, especially in this song, in the context, is that it's really smooth and not too aggressive. Let's check it out. Cause we both say Sorry, wrong vocal. Now it's on, I'm using it on Brianna's vocal. Here we go. Cause we both say words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. We Cause we both say words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of dirt. Now this one sounds amazing on our vocals. It really brightens up everything. Let's listen to it in the context. Cause we both say words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. We Cause we both said words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. So as you can tell, as I'm bypassing it and, and unbypassing it, it definitely just brings her more forward in the mix and makes her vocal sound a lot more smooth and sweet. Um, I pretty much always use this to attack to uh, tame transients. So I always have my attack set to the fastest and slowest release times. And as you can tell on um, the 1176, the attack and release times are kind of inverted to most compressors. So the fastest attack and the fastest release are on the all the way on the right. Your input is essentially your threshold, and then your ratio. You know, pretty obvious. And then you just adjust your output as you increase your input. And I'm getting. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of. Sorry. Um, so anyways, um, I'm getting about five dBs, dB of gain reduction. Let me close that real quickly. Oh, forget it. Um, getting about five dBs of gain reduction on this one. And it's a great compressor, very smooth sounding and sounds amazing. Okay, next one, we're gonna go to number three and that is my color compressor. I'm using UAD's LA2A Legacy or Bundle, and um, this is the actual silver face, and I love the silver face version because it adapts to the material really nicely. Um, when I use this, I'm pretty much always using it after my first compressor. Com first compressor. So, like for example, on Wes's track, I use the R Comp. I'm following it with an 11 uh, or an LA2A as well, and so I'm, my thought is. You know, I use one compressor to tame the dynamics, tame the transients, a little bit faster attack time, but not necessarily depending on the compressor, and then try to make it basically a bit more transparent. And then the second compressor will be followed by a color compressor, which is in this case, the LA-2A Silver. I like this one because it works, it just helps bring all of my vocals up front and center. And um, I'm not doing a lot of gain reduction here, like maybe like 3 dB. Let's take a listen to Brianna's vocal. Cause we both That's not her, this is her. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen we I'm gonna go in and out, here we go. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen we Cause we both said words that we didn't mean Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen we Cause we both said words that we didn't mean Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen We just go round and round, man, there ain't no end you say it's my fault, but I blame you. You get so fed up, and I do too. We fight in a battle, we both know we can't win. So it just brings the vocal more up front and center. It's really easy to use. You can either compress it or limit it. And so basically two, two uh, ratio th uh, choices. Um, your, your peak reduction is essentially your threshold. So the more you raise that, the more it's going to be... Um, increasing the threshold, and then you just have your makeup gain here on the left. Uh, emphasis basically chooses to uh, cut out any bass frequency. So basically I have it set all the way to the right, which means it's just compressing the entire fre frequency spectrum uh, the same. As you, ch as you turn this emphasis dial towards the left, it basically comp does not compress the lower frequencies. So it's great if you want to like tame like um, you know, like a bass or something that has a bit more low, lower information and don't want to crush and lose all of your bottom end. So that's a great little uh, little uh, thing to have on this compressor. Um, all right, that's number four. One, two, three, four, <laughs> okay. And then finally, here we go, my number five is actually the 1176 Blueface. Um, and 
I use that either on um, more aggressive vocals. So in the instance of this song, it wasn't necessary, but um, I either use it on the vocal track itself or mostly I use it as parallel compression. So both of these have parallel compression set in and here's the blue face and I'm going to just solo the parallel compression that I'm doing. So I use it to basically crush my signal of vocal. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen We just go round and round, man, there ain't, ain't no, no end, end No end, you so say it's my fault So actually both vocals are going, are being parallel compressed by this channel um, And I'm, you, you can tell I've got my, you know, ratio set to 20 And I'm getting like 20 dBs of gain reduction Really slow attack and really fast release to get it, give it that pumping sound Now in the instance of this song um, Again, it was a little bit too aggressive. If you listen to it in the context, I'm gonna play it with and without the parallel compression. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean. Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen. We just go round and round, man. There ain't no end, no end. You say it's my fault, but I blame you. You get so fed up, and I do too. We fight in a battle, we both. So it sounds better than without, but whenever I'm doing parallel compression, I'll either use the 1176 blue face or the 1176 black face. And I prefer the black face in this instance because it's just not as aggressive. It's a bit rounder. So you can just compare the two just so you can kind of get a feel for the difference between these two. So first, I'm just going to be switching back and forth and you're only going to hear the parallel processing. So let's first start with the blue face and I'm going to switch back and forth between the blue face and the black face. Cause we both said words that we didn't mean Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen Cause we both said words that we didn't mean Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen Cause we both said words that we didn't mean Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen Cause we both said words that we didn't mean Did a whole bunch of dirt that ain't been seen so essentially, uh, the blue faces, you can tell it, it, it makes it a bit more a little bit, bit more sibilant and uh, a bit more aggressive, almost like a, a little bit of distortion, whereas the, the, the black face is more round. So this is great, like I said, for like rap parallel compression for uh, rock or for anything where the material is a bit more, um, you know, aggressive and a bit more, you know, you know, punchy. But, you know, this song is definitely more chill, tropical house style, so I uh, didn't really need it. Um, so there you go, guys. Uh, those are my f top five compressors. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for listening, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.